All right, all right, all right, we're back. So, I'm gonna go open this baby up. Shit's bigger out of the bag. Anyways, as you can see, there's a little bit of fat on there, so we're gonna flip it over. Bunch of blood all over everything, so. I'm gonna cut from this end. I'm gonna try and get an inch, half inch. Give me a second. Yeah, you're gonna say, well, why are you uh, washing your hands? Just getting them bloody in a minute anyway. You're right, you're right, you're right, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm washing my hands, other than to grab a knife. I don't really want the handle all messed up. Anyway, so here we go. So we're going to do some MMA picks. Start with the main event. Alex and Izzy. I'm going to go with Alex KO. You might say, Donnie, Izzy's the champ for a reason. Yeah, he is. He is. But Alex has knocked him out before. Got bigger gloves. And I'm not even sure I could sharpen this bloody knife with this feels of things. Ugh. All right, give me a second. Shit. Wash this up. Yeah, so we're going to go with uh, Alex and the KO. I'm going to go first round. I think Izzy's going to uh, try and go out of him aggressively. Now, I could be wrong. Izzy's got some great, great hands. I just think the power. Makes a difference. Um, I'm gonna take uh, with Carla and Wei Li. I'm gonna take Wei Li. I think she's gonna knock her out. And we were gonna do something here, weren't we? We're gonna sharpen this baby. Um, yeah, Chandler and Poirier. Damn, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with Chandler, you know, I'm going to go with Chandler. I don't even know who, and I'm going with, I don't even know who the underdogs and stuff are, so I'm just going with who I think is going to win. Now we got Frankie Edgar and Chris. Frankie, oh man, it's tough. It's tough watching you fight. I wish you would have retired, to be honest with you. So I'm going to take Chris because I uh, can't pronounce his last name. I forget what it was now. Anyways, and then we've got Hooker and Poulet, Pulelez. I'm going to take Pulelez. I think that's how you pronounce it. So those are my five picks for tonight. So we'll do them again. I picked Alex. I picked Wei Li. I picked Chandler. And I picked, well, that Chris guy and the Pulez guy to beat Hooker. Those are my picks for tonight. So... Now let's cut this up. Oh yeah, a little better. A little smoother. So we're going with just around an inch here. Yeah, about an inch. I like fat. I don't like... I never used to as a kid like pork chumps. I was going to save this, the butt end here. I think that's the butt. I don't know. I'm not a butcher. Let's just be honest. I'm not a butcher. I forget who it was that I actually learned some of these cuts and how to cut them and where to cut them. I'm a YouTuber. I can't remember. A couple YouTubers, actually. I might need some new knives. This baby's getting a little bit dull quicker. I need a better sharpener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $10 sharpener. So I got five so far. Six. It's going to be nice. I'm 
vacuum pack these babies. I'll let you guys see that too. Oh, I'm changing knives. Ugh. Holy Jesus. Yeah, I'm changing knives. I wish there was a little bit more fat on these babies. So, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about other than that's not the one we're using. Oh, yeah, so I got I'm using my, I'll show you what I'm using it for a selfie stick when I'm done. Well, not as a selfie stick. I'm using a selfie stick, I use, I'll show you what I'm using. Because you know I usually have it up a little bit higher. really gray day here. It looked like the sun was going to come up for a bit. You see the pork starting to bleed a little too as I cut it. I don't know if that's good or bad. All the way that. Oh, much better. Much better. Now, if I'm doing anything wrong, butchering this baby, let me know. I'm trying to get them as clean as I can. I thought I could get 11, 12 pork chops out of this, so... If you guys have any pork chop recipes, I'm going to probably soak a couple of these in little Buddhas. Little Buddha, if you're in Ontario, Canada, try it a little. Oh, that'd be a nice little. Right there, I think, would have been a nice roast. But I got a couple already, so we're going to cut these babies into chops. Oh, I think it just lost a finger. So we got one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love this. I'll show you them all. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Woohoo! Surprise the dog ain't up here smelling blood. I still got another videos for you. Yeah, another videos. Yeah, I got a few other videos to do today, so that's so anyways. I used the big old pickle and jar. This was socks. I brought the bought the wrong size socks yesterday. So 13 cuts. There's 13 pork chops there. I really hope I have enough bags. All right, so we're gonna stop this for a few minutes and we're gonna start another video in about 10 minutes. We're gonna vacuum seal these babies. Thanks for watching.